everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about collaging. Collage is when you take paper and you cut it out and glue it together to make a new picture. So today you don't have to collage, you can just draw along with us and use your paint or markers or crayons, but if you have paper, it'd be really fun to collage some ladybugs. So we're gonna go, like we're zoomed in into the ladybugs on grass and we're gonna make some fun big ladybugs. You can make other insects as well. Kind of think about what you would like to have crawling around in the grass on your picture. Let's get started. Some things that you need today to make our project is you need a brown, a red, and a green paper. You can use construction paper or I'll also show you how to paint your own. You're also gonna need a glue stick, scissors. You might want a pencil. You might want a circle to trace. You don't have to, I'll show you a trick where you don't have to. And then I also use a Sharpie or a black marker or a black crayon today at the end as well. If you're painting, you also need red, green, and brown paint, a big paintbrush, and some water paper. Now don't worry, if you don't have construction paper, you can actually use markers or crayons on white paper, and you can color it all in and make your own colorful paper. You can also do it with paint. This project is actually inspired by Eric Carl. Eric Carl is an author illustrator who paints paper, then cuts it out and collages it together to make his own illustrations and pictures. So don't worry if you don't have construction paper, you can also make your own paper. Okay, I have some white paper and I wanna make one of these pages red and one of these pages green so I can use them in my collage, just like Eric Carl. So I found some red paint and a paintbrush and have a little plate to put it on and I am just going to fill up this whole entire paper with red paint. Now if you decided to paint your papers, make sure that you let them fully dry before moving on and getting started. If you need, if you don't have any construction paper, you also want to make a brown paper for your dirt. I'm going to use brown construction paper and then these two painted papers, but in the end you'll need a red, a green, and a brown paper. Okay, I have a brown, a green, and a red paper, and both my painted papers are now dry. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to put the brown and the green to the side, out of the way. And first of all, I want to make these into circles for ladybugs. Now, if you want to, you can find a circle shape around your house and you could put it on the paper and trace them. Or if you don't have a circle, here is my trick for making circles. So to make circles, I am going to make this piece of paper into squares. since I painted it, so I don't want any white showing on my ladybugs. So I'm gonna take the, trim, the sides and trim them up. Okay, I have these long rectangles. I can divide mine up into about three rectangly boxes. They don't have to be perfect squares to square shapes. Or if you only want, you know what, I only need like three or four ladybugs, so I might just make two squares and then have some extra red later on. You can make different size ladybugs, so it's really up to you. shapes and now here is my trick for turning a square into a circle if you take your square and you turn it kind of like a rhombus or a diamond if you take your scissors and you cut the corners off to make little triangles so there's one triangle I'm gonna turn it and cut I'm gonna turn it 
going to turn it and cut. Now it looks like I have a stop sign. I have an octagon. It's getting more round. It's still not a circle yet. It might not be a perfect circle in the end, but to make it more round, all you have to do is take tiny little curvy cuts. And if you do that, you trim off these little tiny pieces that were the corners of your octagon. And if you do that to all the points until there are no points left, you will have a nice round shape and you didn't have to trace it. You just did it yourself with your scissors. So it's not a perfect circle, but it's nice and round. It's a good ladybug shape. I'm gonna do that to all my papers so I have lots of round shapes. to move on to the green paper. Okay, here is my green paper, and now I wanna turn this into little pieces of grass. So to do that, I am going to make little skinny rectangles. I'm gonna again cut my paper in half first. There's no white showing. I don't really want any white to show in my collage. I have two rectangles. Ooh, there's a little bit of white on that one. I'm just gonna trim it up. There we go. Now I'm gonna turn these into pieces of grass. You can just make skinny, skinny grass. You can make different shapes of grass. It is up to you. I'm gonna make lots of grass. I might not use it all, but I'll have lots to choose from. Now, I have lots of grass. I think I'm gonna make some of my grass pointier than other pieces, so I might come in and just cut off like triangles on a few of them, not all of them, but. If you okay, this is plenty of grass. I'm gonna get started with my next step. Now I have my background. This is going to be the dirt. My brown. You could add crayon to it. You could have painted your paper. It was up to you. But I'm gonna use brown for my dirt. I also have a glue stick. The first thing I want to do is I am going to arrange my grass on um, my dirt and you can make a pattern you can go and make it look crazy how it's growing different places you can have it growing up if you want to so it's not all totally flat just have fun and fill up your dirt with grass remember when you're using a glue stick you only want to use a little bit at a time you don't need to roll it up very far remember i am also putting my glue on the back of my grass, not so much as best as I can, not on my paper. I don't want the brown paper to get sticky with having extra glue on it. Everything has some glue on it. I have lots of extra grass, no big deal. I can use it for another project. I can keep it and save it for later. Now, I'm gonna pull out my ladybug shapes. And I want to arrange them in my grass. Some, some of them I might even have going in between or over. 
kind of slide them in. I think I really only have room for three today. If you have room for more, you can always put more on there, but mine are pretty big, so I'm gonna put three ladybugs. This one I'm gonna save, again, for later for something else. Okay, once I am happy with where I put them, then I will carefully flip them over, put a layer of glue on, and stick them back on. pull out my black marker. Any kind of black marker you have should work. If you don't have black marker, you can use black crayon. But the first thing I want to do is I want to design my ladybugs. To make a ladybug, all you have to do is start with like a smiley face curve where you want the head. And then I'm going to very carefully, smoothly, I'm going to take my time and I'm going to fill it in solid. So this is where you could use paint, our crayon would work really well too. I have made a head on each of my ladybugs. They're all looking at different directions. It's totally up to you how you want to do that. Now I am going to divide my ladybug in half. Get this grass out of the way by making a line down the middle. So this is like separating the ladybug into two parts is where the wings are. If you want your wings to look like they're a little bit open, you can make two lines that are very close together instead of just one, that's fine too. It looks like maybe this one's about to take off. And then one more. Now it is totally up to you how many spots you put on each ladybug. All that I ask is that you keep your ladybugs symmetrical. So if I put one big polka dot on this side, I am gonna make sure I only put one on this side so that each side is symmetrical, it's the same. If I put three over here, then I'm gonna put three over here. If I put two, I have to put two. So keep your ladybugs symmetrical as you design their dots. each of my ladybugs and they're symmetrical so each side has the same amount. Now I'm going to go in and add antennas and legs. So where the heads are I'm going to make maybe a little curly cue antennas. Maybe this one has like more straight antennas. Polka dots at the end you can make your ladybug however you want. Now, ladybugs are insects, so they're going to have three legs on each side, six legs in all. So one, two, three, two. Ladybugs in the grass, the ladybugs are done. If you want to give them some little ant friends to make a little ant, I'm gonna make one over here on this grass. I want to make three little polka dots, some antennas, and maybe this like three little legs holding onto a piece of grass. Maybe there's another one over here. And maybe one more. Over here. Awesome. You can add whatever else you want with your marker or your crayon. Have fun and thanks so much for making ladybugs in the grass with me today. I hope you had fun collaging and don't forget you can do this with all kinds of things at home. You can cut and glue shapes together to make whatever you want to.
Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you had fun collaging your own ladybugs in the grass. I can't wait to see what you guys share with me on Facebook and Instagram. And I can't wait to see you again soon for a new art lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe.